Welcome to Politics and Why with Sky. Schneps Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes to get to know them in a candid way. And right now I'm with Assemblywoman Joanne Simon, who's running to be the next Brooklyn Borough President. And I see on her campaign poster, it says Brooklyn's first woman borough president. So tell us about yourself, Assemblywoman, and, and why you're running to be the first woman Brooklyn Borough President. Well, thank you so much, Sky. It's, a, it's great to chat with you today. Um, I am running for Brooklyn Borough President because I think I can bring real change to Brooklyn. You know, um, Brooklyn has the most wonderful neighborhoods, uh, the most wonderful peer, people. It's such a uh, diverse borough. But the reality is that sometimes we don't know each other very much. And, you know, the borough presidency is a way to bring people together. Um, and it also, for me, brings me back to my roots, the roots of that uh, I got involved in community and civic work in the first place. So I'm excited to be doing this and bringing a, a new brand, a, uh, a new female brand to uh, the Brooklyn Borough Presidency. Yeah, so Joanne, you know, it's a competitive race. There's a lot of people with big names that are running to be the next Brooklyn Pearl president. So what is it about your campaign or yourself that would make you the best candidate in this race? Well, I think I have the most experience uh, in, in, in community. Um, I was a community leader for many years, accomplishing a, a great deal, uh, working with communities uh, throughout Brooklyn uh, long before I was elected to office. So I think I bring that. I also bring, I believe, uh, that you know the brand of of, of women's leadership. You know, uh, as our vice president Kamala Harris has said, uh, it's not just that when there are no women in um, decision making that it's a marker of a flawed democracy. It's that women in democracy make improve democracy. And if we need anything now in our society, we need more democracy. So I'm running because you know, as Shirley Chisholm said. If there's no room at the table, there hasn't been a room at the table for many people. There hasn't been room at the table for many women. Pull up a folding chair. In my administration, you won't need that folding chair. There will be room at the table for you. Awesome, it's a great feeling. So now tell us something fun or interesting about yourself maybe that hasn't come up on a political interview in the past. Something fun or interesting about myself. Well, um, I... Uh, I do a lot of, uh, of knitting and crocheting and uh, 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 needlework, uh, which may not be all that much fun, but you know, it's actually the kind of thing that uh, pioneer women used to get together and do samplers because it was a way for women to get together. And you know, a few years ago they had Stitch and Bitch, right? Which was women knitting together. Um, <laughs> and it is a way for people to come together. And so uh, that for me has been a way that I've been able to connect with people. Uh, it's also been a way I've been able to teach other women uh, how to do needlework. And it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I like that. I never heard of Stitch and Bitch, but I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was rediscovering, uh, you know, what brought women together. You know, now they, they do book clubs as well, but um, it was very, very popular. And so a lot of women started knitting again. This was about four or five years ago. Cool. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing that with us and sharing a little bit about you on Chef's Media's three questions in three minutes. And I'm Sky with Politics NY.